Okay guys, here we are with a fourth part of this defensive game. 7-0, first two quarters was 0-0. This time I managed to run and uh and score and got break uh, I broke it free with Gore for a touchdown and then at the end of this the last video I actually um you know had a great defensive stop there so a really good adjustment. So I'm gonna go get hey go ahead and get the ball back right here. All I gotta do here is basically clock him. That's what I wanna do. I this time Gore is beasting today. Uh, he broke it for a tackle. He's feeling it. He's already in beast mode. So he's uh, he's I'm, I'm feeling him right now. But at the same time, I don't want to force a fumble. You know how you run so much. All of a sudden, you get a big hit by Ray Lewis or Ed Reed, and then it's all over. He gets the ball back and a chance to score once again. So coming on in the split, split close. I'm gonna go ahead and hike the ball. He shows blitz. I could tell that I could probably beat him deep. At the same time, he's lurking deep. And this time I, I throw it to Gore to the flats, which I get a first down, first and ten. <clears throat> Here we go. So what I want to do is I don't want to go no huddle because I want the time to run out faster. So that's one of my main objectives. I want to clock him here at this point. Since this is a real serious tournament, I want to go ahead and clock him. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and streak both tight ends right here. I'm going to go ahead and audible down to a run, and I'm going to go ahead and run it up the gut. Just right there. Get a four. What is it? Four yards. Second and six right now. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and clock him. And basically, I, I'm in control of this game right now. I could actually clock him all the way to the to the to to the red zone. This time, I'm gonna come out in the halfback draw and go ahead and wait for the time to run a little bit down uh, lower. You guys gonna see here? I'm gonna go ahead audible to a deep pass. Hike the ball right at one second, and I got the <clears throat> the sack. I, could, I wasn't able to make my reach in this play, so like I said, I, be, I haven't been successful at, out of the shotgun in this play. So here we go. I'm gonna come in out in the. White trips, and here I'm trying to get it. <coughs> Randy Moss, I didn't get the catch for the 14. I haven't been successful today against this player on offense. Just I haven't been successful, man, at all. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me. I guess uh, you know he's playing tough defense, and I haven't been able to break it lately. So <coughs> here we go. He's gonna go ahead and punt it. He's gonna go ahead and wait to see what he's gonna do on offense once again. He hasn't been able to do much though. Uh, at the same time, I'm no, I don't want him give give him anything easy. He decided to run the ball here, and this time, if I would have been a little bit closer, definitely I would have hit stick him right there. I'm gonna go ahead and come out in the four one sub again. He hasn't been able to break it, so I'm gonna come out in sugar three C. I'm gonna go ahead and spy, contain, put this guy in deep uh, right here. Uh, don't forget to press baseline. Cover right here deep. He throws a little blue blue route over here, delay route, and uh, he's 11 for 17. So he, he hasn't been doing uh, really well in the air either. And I'm gonna go ahead and come out again. The same thing. He hasn't been able to break it. He comes under the center. I'm gonna come out uh, four six defense under the center. Spread the defensive line. We blitz the left defensive end. Put this guy in yellow, purple over here. We blitz the defensive end. Move him a little bit to the outside. Put this guy. Shame my <clears throat> I forgot to shave my corner back here to the inside, but we got Golson here for the user pick, as you guys see here. Really guy, nice uh, defense right there. So we're doing awesome on defense, man. It's just awesome adjustment right there. So we came back down. Uh, he, I mean, he only had two wide receivers. Basically, what I had to worry about was the tight ends on the middle of the field. That's basically what I wanted to worry about. I'm going to go ahead and come out in the high formation close uh, stretch. And... We're gonna go ahead and just wait for he for him right now to choose his play. I'm pretty sure he's frustrated at this point how he hasn't been able to move the ball or hasn't been able to uh, do anything, establish anything at all on on offense. Here we go. That's why I like this play right here. <clears throat> you guys can see here. We could always run it to back to the center. This is a uh, high formation close stretch. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, here just waste some time. Uh, we got two minutes and 50 seconds left after this play. I could clock him all the way down to the 
to the two minute warning. 10 seconds left. Waiting for the clock to hit 240. Here we go. We got it. And he stops me right there. So uh, he calls a timeout. He starts calling his wasting. Once you waste your timeouts, basically that's it. If I get a first down here, I could clock you. <clears throat> so that's what I like. I don't call timeouts to the last minute uh, of the game. I mean, that's my strategy. I don't know about you, but uh, calling timeouts before the two-minute warning is just not a really smart thing to do. <clears throat> and he got me here on the run stopper. Uh, calls timeout again, two minute thirty seconds. And uh, I'm not gonna risk it, man. I'm not gonna go for it. Uh, I'm just gonna take the the points. And uh, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and take the points and. That's pretty much it right here. 10 to 0. So we're going to go ahead and kick it again one more time. We don't want to risk a return. He's probably going to go out beasting now. Like trying to throw deep passes. Trying to catch every seam or every uh, fade route or every uh, streak. So you got to be really careful for those inside receivers. Slot receivers, tight ends. I'm going to see what he's going to come out in. Come out in Sugar 3 Bluff. He only has two wide receivers on the field. I'm going to go ahead and press. Base line. Spy. Contain the left defensive tackle. Defensive uh, de uh, defensive end. Cover the middle of the field. We had a yellow right there on that spot. Uh, we didn't get the pick. He dropped it. So that was another big mistake in his part. It was about to be a pick right there on that side of the field. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and base line. Press. Spy, contain, go ahead and put this guy a little bit closer to the inside to cover that defensive defensive tight end, I mean, the tight end. He throws right there to the tight end spot. I was right in position, but I didn't get to pick it off. So you guys saw there was really good adjustment. I know he was going to go to the, to the tight end, and I stuck with him a whole way, and it was unfortunate that we dropped the ball. So here we go once again. Contain, spy, press. Base line, put the the cornerbacks to the inside. Just move them to where they belong. You gotta be ready. I'm gonna cover over here to the left side, and we got another pick. So everything, you know, all my players were adjusted in the right spot every single time. This game should have been a blowout uh, if I would have played a better offense uh, the whole time. I just uh, stopped stopped him, and and uh, I made it happen. So. Basically, I'm going to go ahead and clock him right here. He only has one timeout left. He's going to try to make him waste it. And that's how you play. That's how I play tournament defense, you know. Uh, if you guys been watching this series, you notice that I go max coverage and low uh, short yardage. I go heavy blitz on a medial, middle yardage. I try to go with something with a three-man blitz uh, or an edge blitz uh, as well. I like to shade. My receivers to the inside, if they're doing curls to the outside, if they're doing out routes or fades, if I want to shave my receivers to the inside as well, to get them in the right position as well. Every time you're sending a heavy blitz, you want to put the cornerbacks in flat or purple, depending on what your opponent is going to do. If he starts doing those in routes or fade routes with your outside wide receiver, you want to put that guy in purple. If he's throwing to the flats, you want to put him on zone. When in doubt, you want to put both cornerbacks in yellows, all right? When you're sending the heavy blitz. Um, as well, you could do it also with a edge rush. I like to do it with a 4-6 for the defense alignment. We blitz the left defensive end. I like to put a purple on the opposite and a purple on the left corner. So, Or if it's vice versa, I put a purple on uh, the right cornerback and purple the left defensive end. Just to give you guys a different look. So here we go. Coming out of the ace close. And I don't see anybody, man. Everybody's on top. I don't have anybody under. He's guarding them pretty good. Four than 20. We got one minute, 40 seconds left in the in the clock. I'm going to have to punt it right here in this situation. I, was, I wasn't planning on this to happen. But I'm going to go ahead and waste as much time as, as I can. And I, got, I know I'm pretty sure I got this game right here. He hasn't been able to do anything. He hasn't been able to do much. So... Uh, I've been doing great on defense. 
And by the way, I hope you guys learned some of the stuff that I'm doing and how to pick up some of this stuff up and uh, how to lock uh, some of the stuff up as well. Uh, your opponents that you're going to be seeing uh, some of them play like the, some of this player right here. Really careful, uh, really good defense, but at the same time, you don't want to break on defense as well. You want to have a good solid defense, which is the most important thing I think to have. If you have a good defense, you know you're always going to have a chance on offense. So here we go. Coming out in the, I'm gonna go ahead and come out again in the 416. We got one minute left in this game. Uh, I don't think he's gonna do it. He has no timeout, so even if he would score right away, definitely he's not gonna score uh, in the next drive or try to onside kick and then try to score. He won't have enough time. So I'm sending the blitz on the left. That should have been a pick right here on the left side. Uh, the, I think the cornerback was in the right position. Just wasn't able to grab it or grasp the ball. So here we go once again. Contain, spy, baseline, show blitz. Grab the safety, cover deep. Going to go ahead and ball hawk with turbo and triangle or Y. Uh, he throws right here to the out. He hasn't thrown that since the very first quarter. So here we go once again. Spread the defensive line. I'm going to go ahead and put Brown right here on purple. Yellow, I mean. Defensive end on purple. Yellow, purple, spy this time. Max coverage. We have everybody covered. He got me. He gave me deep. He almost had me deep right here. That was my fault. Should have been up there looking at the cornerback. See if uh, you're the safety. So when you have a safety on the top, if you have a two-man under or a cover one like this, the cornerbacks are always going to try to get anything short. So uh, you want to go ahead and cover deep with the safety. If you're in a cover one and two men under. Uh, other like this in zone, the corners won't let themselves get beat. If you're in a zone like a deep blue, they will always go deep. But they're always uh, uh, weaker to the short route. So as you guys saw there, when I went cover one and they're in man to man, they'll, they'll gamble and take care of the short unless you shade them. But... Uh, you know, that's why they let him go deep right there. So that should have been up there as a safety. Here we get a pick. We're going to go ahead and just... He's done right here, man. He just I just complete lockdown since, since the first quarter. Uh, he locked me up on, on defense as well. But I managed to get the breaks there to score. So great defensive game. I'm pretty sure this opponent is frustrated. Uh, not knowing able to figure... Not being able to figure out my defense... And that's pretty much it for this, man. So if you like any of the, the setups for this, this off defense right here, make sure you guys message me, like the video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm actually, I could have made it for both the Xbox and PS3 tournaments. There's a 32-man tournament for this. And I wasn't able to, to, to play on both because, uh, you know, the tournaments are going to be in the same time. So I got to choose one, you know. So this was it. Uh, I... I I um uh this this is it for this game and I made it to to round four. I'll go ahead and show you guys round four game and let you know uh, how it went uh, as well. So stay tuned for the rest. This is it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clock him right here. It's pretty much game over as well. So hope to see you guys soon and uh, let me know what you guys think later. This was Shaka Tracy from Manasa.com and this is pretty much game over.